guys and welcome to another Primark haul. I feel like I do these so often that it is not even funny. There's been quite a few purchases. They're very summer focused I guess you could say but these are all things that I've been picking up recently and to be completely honest Primark has completely upped its game this season. If you saw the January haul that I did you'll notice that I got quite a few on trend pieces that were very very much things that you could have bought from somewhere a lot more expensive and this lot is kind of no exception. There's a few bikinis and stuff in here so Sorry if you're not going on holiday and you wanted something very spring appropriate. I've kind of tried to mix the two and have a couple of summer things with a lot of spring things. But you'll kind of see what I mean when I get into this. I've crammed it all into a smaller bag so that I thought I'd spent less. But it's actually overflowing. So... So the first thing is this bag, which I was actually going to pick up in the haul that I did last time, but I saw it on the way out and couldn't be bothered to queue again. It's just a really nice sort of, I guess you could say like mocha colour. I don't really know what this colour's called, it's just like a really light brown. It's got the two tassels on the side, it was £9, it's called Torp. And I thought it was just a really nice kind of bucket bag, and I think it would be the perfect size to fit like a laptop in or something if you are a worker and you need to have your laptop on you. It's the kind of thing I'd take to a coffee shop actually if I was going to do a day of work So I feel like you could fit a laptop, headphones and stuff quite easily. And it does also come with the longer strap which I guess is really handy too because you could then wear it kind of across your body. And for £9 I feel like it's just a really good price. Then diving into my bag of treats, the first thing I have is this cap which was £3 that Adrian has actually stretched for his own head but he kept convincing me to get one and I caved and bought one and I'm not convinced that they suit me but but I bought one and I think it's going to come in very handy but I just don't think I'm the girl that can pull off these kind of hats. It's probably going to come in so handy when we're in the car for road trips and stuff so it's worth having. Then we do actually have a bikini because it's on the top of the bag and I've wanted a bikini in this colour for so long but whenever I've looked online they were either really expensive, not the style I wanted or I just couldn't work out what the colour would be called. I mean Primark have called it light brown but I feel like it's kind of like a bronze colour so it's just this and these are the pants which were £4 so they've just got the three straps on each side. They are quite good coverage of your bum because I noticed that this year bikinis seem to be getting smaller and smaller. Last year they were small and this year they're practically thongs so this was definitely a welcome change for me. And then this was the top which I've already tried on which is why it's undone but it's just a triangle bra with the kind of longer line front of it and then it's just a clip at the back which I thought was really cute because triangle bras are kind of everywhere but I feel like this longer style is a bit different and I just really liked the colour so I feel like it's definitely one that's going to see me through my travels um, and the top's actually six pounds so that's actually a really great buy ten pound for a bikini and it's the kind of thing that I could mix and match with like whites and browns as well so you get a lot of wear out of it then moving on I bought this from the loungewear department which I'm guessing is meant to be slept in slash chill around the house in and it's just this little play suit in a kind of black and white tie-dye print which is really really cute I like the short detail and my thought for this was the fact that it's going to be in a suitcase and I'd rather have one lightweight item than top and shorts so this was why I got this and it has got little pockets and stuff and to be completely honest I would probably wear this like on the beach and stuff as well because no one is going to know it's pyjamas in another country and to be honest if they do I don't really care because it's really cute and you can't tell it's pyjamas and that was £7 so I bought a size small which is a 6 to 8 I was going to go with the extra small but then I remembered that Primark have now introduced size 4s so extra small is now a size 4 that's a story for another time then the next item was actually this which is a long line t-shirt but I'm planning on wearing it as a dress and this was £5 so it's just this t-shirt t-shirt which is navy and white fine striped with a turned up sleeve really liked it five pounds i thought you couldn't go wrong this will be really handy for on the beach or even just strolling around somewhere in summer because in summer i tend to wear like chunky cardigans with dresses underneath and like converse and stuff on days when i can't be bothered to get dressed so that is going to be perfect and if it's a long line t-shirt i could always stick a pair of jeans underneath as well speaking of which i actually picked up a pair of the um super high-waisted skinny super stretch jeans which were 10 pounds now i've not actually worn primark denim in in a long time if not ever I don't know if I ever actually have bought Primark denim but these are just slit knee jeans which I didn't actually realize they were slit knee until I got home but they're just black high-waisted skinnies which you guys know I live in skinny jeans so I thought these would be a good contender for the ones I wear every day if they fit so hopefully they fit hopefully they're really good quality but I've never tried Primark denim so if you have let me know in the comments what you think because they're denim range in the new Oxford Street store so I went into the Tottenham Court Road one which has been expanded and it's 
absolutely humongous and their denim department genuinely had about 60 different styles in about 60 different colours. There was so much denim that it hurt my eyes and I feel like if there's that much then it kind of has to be worth having because I feel like they wouldn't make that many styles of denim if people didn't like it. So let me know in the comments what you think of the Primark denim because I'd love to know. Then I picked up a pair of flip flops. They're just these. These are 90p and I actually had a pair of these last summer in like a black and white print and they lasted me the entire summer. I still have them even though they're on their last legs and I just think flip flops never last very long no matter where you buy them from. I've had really expensive flip flops that are broken just as quick as cheap ones and 90p is perfect. Then the other pair of shoes that I bought again summer focused. I'm really sorry if you're not going on a holiday and don't want to see summer yet because this is very summery focused but I actually picked these up. So these sandals actually struck me by surprise because I picked them up thinking they'd be maybe about 10 to 15 pounds because I've noticed with Primark they're kind of nicer sandals or always a bit more expensive but these were actually four pounds and they're actually the best fitting shoes I've ever had from Primark so these are basically just like fabric crossover sandals which are really cute and I think they're the kind of thing that I could maybe dress up or down and they're perfect for if I want to look a bit more fancy than just wearing flip flops but four pounds is insane and they have like a denim pair and a leopard print pair and a black pair and I think there's another colour I can't remember but there was quite a few then we have some black socks which aren't completely interesting so I'm going to put them to one side <laughs> okay the next item is actually these denim shorts which are the mini these were five pounds and I bought them in a size eight so these are just literally plain black shorts because I've got ripped ones I've got like denim striped ones but I've not actually got plain black shorts so these are yeah literally just plain black shorts I haven't tried them on yet so I'm hoping they fit really well but I think they're just kind of like low to mid rise so kind of not really high waisted but perfect for just chucking a t-shirt with and wearing kind of every day then I also picked up another bikini which is actually kind of a mix and match um so the top is the same as the goldy coloured one which is just plain black because I actually don't own a plain black bikini top so I tried to find like a just triangle one but this is the one that I saw first and I kind of just fell in love with it and thought it was a bit different so this is literally just the exact same thing six pounds again and just really really comfortable very flattering on as well if you like me don't really have much shape because I find that I kind of go straight down so that kind of makes my waist look a bit nicer and then the bottoms that I picked up to match were just these classic tie side bottoms which cost two pounds and plain black bikini bottoms are always in demand I literally mix and match my bikinis so much when I go away because I find that I tend to kind of buy the same colourways so everything mixes and matches really easily and it means that you kind of get more variation from bikinis rather than just wearing the same set all the time. And then the last thing I picked up which was £13 which is this dress which is like a fake embroidery on the front which is actually like printed on which I thought was really clever and it's just an off the shoulder with little sleeves and really really cute. I think this is perfect for the season because I think this is the kind of thing that is just everywhere at the moment and I feel like it's the kind of dress that you could wear more in the springtime with some tights and maybe some boots or even just boots with no tights or you could wear it in the summer with some sandals so that's why I picked this one up and £13 is quite a good price for a dress so that was everything that I bought from Primark on my last two or three trips I hope you liked this haul guys I'm sorry it's quite summer focused if you are staying in England or you're not really bothered about the sunshine yet and you just want jumpers I know there's 101 other YouTubers that do Primark hauls so I'm sure they will have fit your bubble but for anyone that is going on holiday or lives in a hotter country or just generally wants warmer clothes this is kind of the perfect haul for you. I know they're still bringing a lot of their spring summer collections into stores at the moment but I really really love what they're having in and everything is just so beautiful and again please check out the other haul as well because you will see so much variation in styles and the other one is a lot more spring focused shall we say but give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.